said, by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for Gory Cuddly Carnage. Um, there's a demo on the PlayStation Store at the moment. Um, so it's free to download. If you heard of this game, um, you might want to download it. I mean, I had never heard of it um, until I seen the demo. But it's quite cool. It's like you know, like it's set in a like a cyberpunk kind of world. Um, you're a cat that's um, got a skateboard with blades on it, like that, like, as you can see. Um, and it's a, just a, it's a bit of a button basher, but <laughs> it's just one of those games where it's fun, um, and you don't really, it's like a slasher game, um, where you're just constantly killing waves of enemies, upgrading your hoverboard, getting different weapons, um, and then moving on to the next section like if you can see the wall with the like the bunny rabbit face on it it like encloses you inside of the the section so you can't move on until you've killed everything um but it's quite good i mean it's violent it's as you can see it's like uber violent um but you can grind um and you've got like a dash as well with circle you grind with r1 you can double jump with x squares to do like your spinning blades and then you've got triangle which is to like do your secondary weapon and um, which is like a, a big mallet kind of weapon um but you've got like the f the whole level to uh you know like free room um so you can move around um, and like at the top if you see the green on the left is your health and the orange is like your energy like electricity so you can regain your energy by going onto those grinds like this or by going onto those billboards and like wall running but you're obviously you're on a skateboard but like you know what I mean like wall running on those skateboards you can actually get um, some more energy so every time you use your special attacks I think you hold R2 to boost and if you press square, you like spin around like a helicopter attack. Um, and it uses up the orange uh, energy bar at the top. So you need to keep replenishing your energy after you've done some attacks. You need to like uh, juice up on the electric that's in the level. So there's like some sort of there are cars there as well. I forgot about them. You can like destroy the cars and they'll give you some of the vendor machines like give you um health so you can have a look around the level and replenish all your energy and stuff if you run out while you're fighting because there is some um like there's different types of enemies the the, the little unicorns with um like swords i think they've got and then there's the unicorns that are encased inside bubbles so square doesn't work on them you have to use triangle and then there's unicorns with guns, which obviously shoot you from afar. So you have to like dodge them until you can get in close. Um, but it's quite forgiven with the um, the proximity that you need to be for it to get. So you can be quite like far away from the grind, and as long as you press R1, it'll like suck you onto the grind. So you don't need to um, be exactly precise. You can just um, just be in the general like vicinity and it'll work same as with your your wall rides and your boosting and stuff like that it's quite forgiven so there it's just telling us about the um r2 and triangle and as you see at the top it uses your orange bar oh yeah you can press r1 and that does like a special attack like that um and it'll give you a little bit of health and a little bit of energy and a little bit of money um, you use the money to upgrade your character and your hoverboard and stuff. I think it's called a ship. Uh, he calls it his ship. And you've got circle to dash as well. Um, but it's really violent, you know, like the blood and everything, the gore. But it's just one of those fun games where you can just pick it up and just press it. Um, you know, press some easy controls, easy buttons, and it's uh, not too challenging. 
you do have a boss um, on the demo, and I think I've got the footage on here where you have the um, the boss, and it's like he's right hand man, and it's an actual hand. So you have to just dodge his laser beam eye until it like gets staggered, and then you can go in for the kill. But I just put it on easy, um, so it's like I, you know what I mean. So I could just see what the demo entails and see what it's about but it's it's nice and colorful there's lots of sound i mean your pad if you've got your vibration and everything on your little uh, speaker it goes ballistic your pad it's vibrating and the sounds coming out your controller all the time so it's like they're really introducing there isn't it haptic uh, buttons but it does incorporate the pad a lot so if you want to you know save on your pad battery life you might want to turn some of the shit off in the options um, just to preserve your battery because it does hammer your battery life on your pad but there that's me triangle attack there that big like hammer thing um, and on the demo you, you go to the shop and you can like it gives you three items for free you know you don't have to like buy them it's just to showcase what the games are like so as I said you just jump on the grinds you jump around you collect up enough energy um, there they've got the bubbles around them the square doesn't work on them so you have to use triangle that's the triangle move um but it's fun and it's easy to play um and like i said there's a free demo there if you want to play that you may as well give it a shot before it comes out because i'm sure this game even though it's not a triple a title it will be at least 20 odd quid to 30 quid because you know how extortionate the prices are on playstation now so you need to um, have a little play on the demo first before you make a purchase. But I don't know if I would count it as a kid's game because um, with it being so violent, but I, I'm not sure if you can turn the blood off or, you know, like change the colour of the blood or something like that so it's not as graphic. But it's they've took like a little cute cat skateboarding and ultra violence and put it all into a, into like one game, which is not bad combo i mean i've never seen this before um cat on a skateboard but it is what it is i mean you can see the kind of game it is and um, just button bashing waves of enemies um, and then you upgrade i don't know if there's much of a skill tree or anything like to you know to advance i think it's just basically there's like four or five different upgrades uh per like section like your square weapon your triangle weapon your board your health and your energy you can extend the bars with um but i think that's it there's not much in terms of uh, character like depth you know what i mean but it it doesn't need it on this kind of game all you need is um the ability to remember what enemies like what kills what enemy you know what i mean and um just how to kill each enemy and then you move on but it is and you get to these sections where you've got to like jump over the barriers um as and when they're coming towards you you've got to keep jumping over that's the boss there the the hand um but it's it's dead easy i mean i've put it on easy difficulty but the game itself isn't that hard if you want to just uh, have a nice easy game to play um it is quite easy just to do but I liked it. I mean, it, it's not uh, amazing, but it's not shit. So I enjoyed playing it, but I don't know if I would buy it. Because, uh, again, I've, I'm like a seasoned gamer. I've been playing games all my life. So I've really got these kind of hack and slash games out of my system. Um, and I don't really find them as entertaining as I once did. Because I get bored with them quite easily. I could only play one or two levels of this. Where you're just hacking and slashing everything and then i just think this is shit i kind of be honest with it but some people like games like this some people like you know tower defense games and strategic games like there's a bit of everything for everyone so if you do like the look of it then definitely go and check it out because i'm not sure how long it'll be on demo for so just go and get it have a little blast see what you think and then keep an eye out for it when it comes on the store to buy if you like it that's it see you there.